I'm sure you've heard people say, everything happens for a reason. This sentiment is meant to provide comfort and a little hope that we are not victims of random circumstances. But the believer in Jesus Christ doesn't need the comfort of sentiment. We have the assurance that whatever we face in life happens because God allows it. And though He protects us more than we ever realize, what He does allow is always meant for a greater purpose. Now, I've been through some challenging trials. I know what it's like to be overwhelmed by the weight of circumstances. So I want us to look at how we can have victory in these situations. Today's email gives us a good opportunity to discuss this. And so it reads, For over three years, I've been going through a particular adversity, and I finally understand what I need to do in order for God to resolve it. Surrender, trust, focus, pray, and obey God. I get it. But sometimes I feel overcome and weep over my trial. Does this mean that I don't fully trust God and have not totally surrendered to Him? I feel guilty for feeling like this. My friend, there's nothing wrong with feeling sad. All of us have had situations in which we felt sad. That's a natural response. If it's something that you have done or something that happened to you or something that you wouldn't even want to discuss with anyone else, just you and God, feeling sad is natural. In fact, the truth is, if you have sinned against God and created that kind of a situation, that's the right response. You ought to feel sad. And so when we think about weeping and the, and the particular reason why, let me ask you a question. Is it because you feel guilty over something that you've done? Is it because you're disappointed in yourself? Is it because you hurt someone else? Is it because deep down inside, you cannot settle in your own mind and heart that God has really and truly forgiven you? Let me just say this. It doesn't mean that you're not fully trusting, and it doesn't mean necessarily that you're not fully surrendered simply because you're sad. If it's something that you're responsible for, I would ask you again, have you forgiven yourself? Have you really and truly trusted him to forgive you? Because you see, if he has, and he will if you ask him to, he doesn't want you being continually sad over something that he has forgiven you for that you have dealt with, and here you are continually bringing it back, feeling bad about it when God intended to set you free. You need not feel guilty if you're totally surrendered. You're committed to Him, and as you say, living a godly life. Listen to what he says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. He says, Be anxious for nothing. Don't let your life get all caught up in anxiety. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, Listen, praying with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And he says, here's what will happen. The peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension or understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You need to claim that verse of Scripture. Listen to what the Bible says. The entrance of His Word gives light. If you will focus just on that passage alone, asking God to show you what's going on in your life, This sadness he intends to turn to joy and thanksgiving and assurance and confidence in your life that he has dealt with it. If it's something, for example, that you can never go back and change, you cannot live in the past and have peace in your heart. I would simply say to you, turn to Philippians 4, get to that verse of Scripture, stay in that reading it day and night, asking God to speak to you, and he will transform that sadness into confidence and and joy and peace in your life. Well, we're thankful you've joined us for the broadcast of In Touch today. Remember, no matter what trial or challenge you're facing, when you fight your battles on your knees, you will win every time.